Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show how I do the overlay on the monthly page of the Big White Digibujo. So this is going to be the final result. I'm going to delete this page so that I can show you how I did it. So start with the page you want to overlay. This can be weekly, monthly. I'm just showing the monthly for this purpose. Um, top right, you'll see three dots on GoodNotes. I am in Good notes at the moment. You're going to click the three dots, export, export current page, format is image, click image, export, and save to camera roll. That will save the image itself and not the surround that belongs to Good notes. Now I'm going to open that in Procreate, so I'm going to click photo on the top right, find that saved image that I just made, and I'm going to go to layers and add a new layer, and I'm going to import another photo on top of that. So I will click the wrench on the top left, image, insert photo, and find the photo that you want to overlay with. Now GoodNotes automatically selected that arrow to let me move this and the arrow just lets, it selects the entire layer that you're working on. So if you look at your layers, that's one layer and uh, it is on its own layer. So let me click that again because it's not quite as big as I want. Alright, so now if I go back into my layers, you can reduce opacity in various ways, but if this is fairly easy, if you click the N on the layer you want, you can change the opacity here and make it as light or as heavy as you want. So I'll click off of that, and I will now, I'm noticing it's not quite as big as I want it to be, so I'll make it just a little bigger. That works, okay. So now I'm going to uncheck the box that has the grid, and I'm going to also uncheck the background layer. That way when I save it as a PNG, the white background will not be there. So go to the wrench, share, and click PNG. You're going to export that, save as an image to your camera roll. Now we go back into GoodNotes, Long press, click image, photos, and again we're going to pull that last photo. And there's the image we just created, and we're just going to move this around and put it where we want it. Now I'm seeing that this is very big and I'm not going to be able to crop it, so I'm going to click and crop and just make the edges a little tighter because in order to drop it into place, you need to click off the image. So, you see that image is smaller now. The handles are, are inside of the planner page. So, position it where you want it. I'm trying not to take all day here. And click off your image and there it is set. So if we want to test the hyperlinks that are attached to this bullet journal, I'm going to click April 18th and you see on the lower left it did take me to page April 18th. I'm going to touch the fingerprint, go back to April and there you have it. Thanks for watching.